We are a membership organisation dedicated to the long-term growth of Cambridge, based around the academic community as well as also the business community. I think that we all realise that Cambridge is going to change even more in the next 25 years than it has in the last 25. So now is the time to be worrying about 2035. Today we're launching. We're not here to talk about the results of our projects, but we're here to announce our projects. These projects have been put together by our membership, who have determined that these are the three key priorities for Cambridge into the long term. And those projects are selling Cambridge. How do we promote Cambridge? What does the brand of Cambridge look like? The second project is looking at quality of life. And the third one is looking at the growth agenda. And the growth agenda is developing a vision for Cambridge into the long term. There is a gap in the market. We don't have a long-term strategic vision for Cambridge. A number of organisations have been talking about it, but nobody is really in a position to do it. This is the last missing piece in the jigsaw of networks in Cambridge. Now we're complete, now we can get on with the job. It's a great opportunity here today and what we found is that we've got 70 people, individuals from the Cambridge community and its region coming to this event. They are large scale organisations and highly influential organisations. So for instance Marshall, uh, we've got Cambridge University, we've got Trinity College and that gives you some sort of idea of the level of people that are going to be represented today. Now Cambridge Ahead is modelled on London First and one of the things that struck me in the early days of London First was the degree to which business leaders, politicians of all stripes, state institutions and volunteers found common ground in what would make a better London. We're very lucky and very pleased that Joe Valentine, Baroness Valentine, is joining us from London first. So let me come uh, bang up to date. Uh, what do Cambridge and London share? The southeast of the UK has the greatest concentration of world-class universities in the world just an extraordinary thing which we, we take for granted. Uh, higher education is the UK's eighth largest export and is worth about uh, eight billion pounds a year. And partly as a result of that, both um, London and, uh, and Cambridge attract technology companies. Well, it was obviously an inspiration to hear Joe Valentine talk about London first, which in some ways is how we model Cambridge ahead doing things for the good of the town, but also for the good of the businesses. A lot of our customers are involved in this, so from our point of view it's very important that we can help bring their voice to the table. A lot of them are very important to the Cambridge community, um, and it's obviously important to us as an organisation um, to be supporting the community that we're in. Everybody's here, everybody's pulling together. This is time for Cambridge to have a vision out to 2035 and Cambridge Ahead is the place to do it. Today is the culmination of a lot of hard work, but we are only at the beginning. These are exciting times and I'm thrilled to be running an organisation like Cambridge Ahead. The most important thing that we've seen here is just, quite frankly, the representation that's come along today. I think it's a real reinforcement of, of, of how important Cambridge Ahead is for people and how much we need to do this. Initiatives such as Cambridge Ahead are vital to getting things done. An independent catalyst who has confidence and who can believe in the future of Cambridge and what is good for it. Someone who can just challenge the status quo and provide some leadership. The thing is always to be true to one's mission and to think of Cambridge as the brand. We want to communicate to these members and to our potential members the need for this organisation and to consider what Cambridge is going to look like in 20, 30 years time and how we are going to make sure that the economy is fit for purpose into the long term.